Okay, hey guys. Um, as uh, if you followed any of my other videos on YouTube, you've seen this one already. Uh, I originally did this as a, a personal piece that uh, eventually Kurt Alcasel ended up getting from me. I've had a number of people contact me asking about it and uh, finally was convinced to do another one for a friend of mine and uh, finish that one up just uh, this morning. Try and typically you know on something like this add a little bit of uh, one of a kind uniqueness to each one so on the one that I did for myself originally the uh, water effects were more of a standing water pond whereas here I went more for a Oh, Rocky Rapids sort of look. There's a little bit of a waterfall in the back there and then on the water effects, although it's clear, added some white water look to the beginning. Also, Josh, the guy that I built this for, specifically asked for the blood and uh, like the interior of the mouth and so on on the Hulk to be green. So that's what we did this time. As you can see, and I apologize, I only have my uh, phone to use as a video camera, but inside his mouth, his tongue is green, his gums and so on, inside of the cheeks. And then we've got uh, the dripping blood from some previous slashes from Wolverine. Blood on the ground there that's dripped down. Uh, also, changed a little bit. I still have the uh, dripping blood off his left hand claws, but the right hand I have uh, posed more in a slashing motion. And then the blood that's coming off that, almost as if it's you know curved a little bit to show the arc of uh, his arm movement. What I try and do typically is, you know, three-dimensionally capture a two-dimensional image, so more of a moment in time sort of thing. Uh, added a lot of the uh, extra flaps on his pants here, the way that it's cast, it's just smooth right with his legs, so as you can see there's, you know, like fabric hanging down and so on. In addition, the base, as on the other one, only comes with the stump, and so I added the broken off portion of the tree and debris from it being broken over. Uh, I guess that's about it. Just kind of give you a little bit of a walk around here. It's a big kit. It's heavy. Uh, fortunately, both uh, the one I did for myself, which Kurt ended up getting, and also this one, I'm able to, uh, and was able to meet in person to deliver it. I would guess that uh, because of the weight, especially of the base and everything in it, it's close to 60 pounds. And as you can see, it's extremely delicate, so it would be very difficult to ship. Try and get in close on Wolverine. The way it's sculpted, uh, I really give the sculptor a lot of credit especially uh, Wolverine, the dynamic of his pose, I mean he just looks like he's running. It literally looks like I said like a three or two-dimensional image captured in 3D. So hope you enjoy that video. If you've got any questions feel free to post in the comment section. Oops, sorry about that. Alright, thanks.